Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Mr. Jones here from Coit Frank Primary School. Um, just got a few messages really relating to um, everybody's return back to school uh, this week. Uh, I know our foundation phase have been back in now for a number of weeks. Um, just want to reiterate a few key messages really. Firstly, I uh, just want to thank everybody for your support in helping making this go as smoothly uh, as it has done over the last few weeks. For the older ones this week, but also a big thanks to our foundation phase parents for the past few weeks. Um, everything has operated as we would have hoped. So big thanks for that. We can't do that without your uh, support. I do want to draw attention to just a few elements around that. We've still got a few um, parents who, for whatever reason, um, aren't wearing masks. Um, that is quite clear now. Uh, that policy is quite clear. So unless you've got a very, very good reason, and you can evidence it, we're expecting to see people wearing their face masks in that area at that time in the morning and the afternoon. It's, it's not optional, um, and we're looking for your support with this. The reality of transmission of COVID, um, as it's been presented to us head teachers, is that child to child transmission is almost zero. Um, child to adult transmission or adult to child transmission is again very, very low. So the risk is all in adult to adult transmission. So we've got two points of the day when that is, the chances of that are increased. So maintaining the social distance with the markers we have on the floor, people have been very good with that, uh, is one protection, but equally um, the face masks are key. So please help us with that. Um, it's a very awkward position for staff to be put in if they've got to ask questions around face masks. So please, if I can just ask for everyone's support in ensuring that those face masks are worn during that time, it's not long, but it does make a, a big difference. Um, secondly, I do want to flag up around um, timings. Those timings haven't changed. So we, we still have a few families who um, are coming a little bit later than everybody else and then bringing their children right to the door. That isn't how we're doing things. Children are, are to be taken to the, the group where their class teachers are, dropped off in that way. That system works really well. We don't really want or need anybody on the site once those gates are closed because that gives us a problem in terms of managing additional adults on site. So please, if everyone can adhere to the timings, um, and we're essentially talking nine o'clock in the morning and three o'clock in the afternoon. The quicker then everybody's on and off the site, the better. And it is working really well due to the vast majority of, every, of everybody's um, cooperation. We're still having a few hiccups around transportation. We've been down this road before, if you'll pardon the transport pun, um, but having uh, cars congregating um, on Old Road and Stanley Road, it is an age-old problem in skewing and it is difficult for us to, to solve, but ultimately people can't really be parking there or hanging around in those areas as it causes an issue in terms of safety and safeguarding for our young people coming on and off the site at those times. So if people can bear that in mind as well, that would be um, hugely helpful. Um, the last point I want to make, I've been made aware um, of some concerns uh, for younger children regarding the hand sanitizer. So I need to be nice and clear in what I'm saying here. Firstly, with regard to that, it's very helpful if people have got a concern to bring it straight to school. I've said this so many times over the years, but it's, now, it's, it's not any less truthful now than it's been all that time. The quickest route to get in an answer or a query resolved is to contact school and then I can deal with it. If we go down the route of, of making comments on Facebook, etc., all that does is create sometimes a little bit of animosity or creates a misinformation. Uh, everybody chips in, doesn't really help resolve the matter and it doesn't really help get any answers. So, you know, I, I would reiterate my uh, appeal to parents that, that if you contact school, particularly around matters relating to, to COVID like this and our operational guidance, then um, we are able to offer the answers that I'll give now. 
Um, so in relation to the hand sanitizer, um, you know, I, I realise that some children's hands are probably taking a little bit of a bashing with this stuff. Um, there's a few factors in that. Um, it is cold at the moment. We are we're in March. Um, so when the children first started using the hand sanitizer, um, that was in the autumn, in September, it was warmer. So hands are colder and drier, generally. Um, the hand sanitizer that we use will, unfortunately, dry some moisture out of, of the hands. Um, I think, unfortunately, that's, that's what it does. It um, it's operates at 70% um, alcohol content which is the same on average that anything that's bought at home, uh, bought in the, the chemists, etc., and used, they're all operating at about 70% alcohol content, and that's a regulation because anything less than that 70% won't have the impact on, on the germs and the virus. So it, the stuff that we use in school is uh, supplied to pretty much all schools, so it's, it's managed in terms of its content, is managed in terms of the safety of the product. However, we would recognise that constant use of such a product is likely to, to dry some children's hands uh, as well. So, I mean, you know, we're not forcing children to do it. We are suggesting that children utilise uh, what, what they've got. And most children have adapted to that without any particular problems. Uh, however, the option does exist to use good old-fashioned soap and water in class and for some children where we can see that, that their hands are a bit dry, that option exists. The reality is, of course, that regular hand washing in this way, uh, one of the things it does, whether it's soap or sanitizer, it is likely to dry the hands out. So that's, you know, obviously something we are mindful of, but the main priority is obviously to, um, to manage COVID. Uh, and that's why we've got those devices in school and that's why you encourage the children to use them. So, like I said, we, we are mindful of it. The products that we use in school are no stronger than the product that, that you purchase and use at home. Um, I do think children will get used to using them more, but equally, nobody's forced to do that. As long as they're washing their hands regularly in school uh, or using the sanitizer, then those options exist. Um, what isn't an option uh, is bringing in sanitizer from home. The reality with that is it's the same stuff to start with, but equally, if there was stronger product coming into school, we're not allowed to have stronger product. And as I'm sure you'll appreciate, we've got to manage in school the chemicals that are here. There are stringent measures to, to managing the chemicals that are in school. Uh, we have to fill out forms for every chemical we've got here and we've got to be, we are accountable for knowing what uh, chemicals are here. So in terms of that, there's no need for children to bring their own. It's largely the same stuff, uh, it's the same product. So the options are soap and water in school regularly. Children can do that, they can choose to do that. Sanitizer, uh, if it's appropriate, and they can do that as well. Um, but just to clear up on that, if there's any further issues around that, please do, um, contact us in school don't be afraid to give us a ring um, because we're here to help it's in partnership with you that we will continue to keep numbers uh, of transmission low in the community which will mean that school remains open and busy just like it has been the last thing i want to say on that is how fabulous it is to see this school Coyd frank primary school full of children again it's been such a long time um, schools are nothing without the children in them. Um, they add all the character, they add all the, the, the fun, they add all the life to school. So thanks for supporting us. Our attendance has been brilliant since we've returned and we want to continue with that. So if you've got any concerns moving forward, rather than go um, to the, the computer, um, please, please come and contact us. Ask us the questions. There's usually a sensible answer uh, and if there's not we'll, we'll work on it okay but thanks very much have a good uh, super saturday grand slam weekend come on wales um, and like i said we're here if you need us thank you